Hi there, my name is Nick Dutch, and on this YouTube channel I do get criticised by people of the atheist or sceptical community who are in disagreement with some of the things which I promote here, which, considering their stance, could be regarded as being understandable. However, a lot of people from the atheist and sceptical schools of thought are very pro-science, and I thought that in this particular video I would provide just a drop of science just to, I suppose, make everybody happy or to give everybody that nice warm fluffy feeling that I'm not just jumping to conclusions based upon things that some religious people say. What I'm going to direct you to is in the information box. It's a scientific study. It's the full scientific study, the correlation of the gradient of the Shannon entropy and anomalous cognition towards an AC sensory system, AC standing of course for anomalous cognition. This is a variety of scientific tests into ascertaining the contents of certain photographic images from a distance, a distance of anything up to 4,500 kilometers. It's a fascinating study and I'm just going to read out what it says at the bottom in the conclusion or discussion section but before I do that I'll just tell you some of the people who were involved in it. Edwin C. May, S. James, P. Spottiswood, Laura V. Faith. This is from the year 2000 Society for Scientific Exploration which is based in California. Here we go. Therefore, we believe we have replicated the earlier findings in which the quality of AC, anomalous cognition, is correlated with the gradient of the Shannon entropy and not with the entropy itself. The result is part of the growing and compelling evidence that AC is mediated through a sensory channel. This might be either some combination of the known senses or an additional one. And I'll just quickly add there that if we're talking about a distance of between 5 kilometers and 4,500 kilometers, how on earth could it be through the standard five senses? Functional brain imaging may resolve this question by allowing us to directly observe neural functioning during anomalous cognition. Well, there you have it. If you are interested in scientific research, real science, which has been measured in a scientific manner, with lots of uh, checks and balances, I would strongly recommend that you read this particular scientific study. I'm going to provide links to a few others as I progress through my YouTube career. I mean, the, the graphs, the quality of the information, the data capture methodology, it's all very interesting. The statistical analysis has gone into in great depth. I mean, for the layman, there may be a few words or phrases you may be unfamiliar with, but you can always copy those from the document, paste them into Google or into Wikipedia, and try and find out what those words mean so you get a much better understanding as to precisely what's going on. But essentially, this is a tiny drop in the ocean. All right? Two swallows don't make a summer. So we can't say that purely on the, on the strength of one particular study that we've got the full understanding or the complete picture. But this is just one important drop in the ocean. And to dismiss the phenomena of psi without looking at this particular type and quality of data would be wrong. Just plain wrong. So have a quick look and see what you can see. As far as this particular video is concerned, I mean, you can criticize me as much as you want. But if you're interested in science, and you're interested in scientific explanations, then have a look at the study. Read the whole thing, and then criticize that. And you may then submit your criticism to the scientific study as a video response to this video.